Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this abstract animation in Blender. You're going to need Blender 3.4 Alpha for this to work. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Chairman Notes and close this window and click on New. Go to the Material Properties and create a new material and delete the group input. Add a Set Material node. Plug that into the geometry and select the material. Now add a volume cube node. Plug the volume into the geometry and add a volume to mesh. Now we need a set shade smooth node. Put that here. And we also need a subdivision surface. Put that here. Now add a gradient texture, plug the color into the density and add a mix RGB. Plug the gradient texture into the color one and into the factor. Now add a checker texture and put it here. Set the scale to 0.3. Now we need a wave texture. Plug this one into color one and duplicate it and plug the other one into color 2. Now set this one to Y. Here set the scale to 10 and for the duplicated one to 2. Now we need a mask wave texture. Plug it into the vector for both of them. Let's save. Set the mask wave texture to 40 and hover over the W and press I. Open the graph editor here and make sure the mask wave texture is selected. Click on the drop down here and select the default value here. Go to modifiers and add a noise modifier. Set the scale to 50 and the strength to 0.25. Now if we press play, we've got something like this. To make this a loop, enable restrict frame range and set the end to 250. And set the blend in and out to 50. Let's save again and set the resolution anywhere between 100 and 400. I'm going to set it to 400. Go to shading. I'm going to use Atlas for this and as always I will use this HDRI here. The link to that is in the description. In the render properties go to film and make it transparent. For the principal PSDF I'm going to choose a purple color like this. Now add a mix shader. Put it here and duplicate it. Add a glass BSDF, put it here and plug it into the shader here. Also let's make the principal BSDF metallic and set the roughness to 0.15. Now add a subsurface scattering node. I'm going to put that here and plug it into the shader on top. Now we need two color ramps. So let's duplicate it, plug this one into the factor here and this one into the factor here. Add a mask wave texture, plug the height into the factor here and here. Set the scale to 10.5 and the detail to 15. For this color ramp let's bring the white in somewhere around here. Here let's bring the black in. And let's also bring in the white. For the glass I'm going to choose a blue color. And for the subsurface scattering I will choose an orange color. Back in dirt mode press Ctrl 3 and delete on the numpad. I will position my view by pressing 6 on the numpad a few times and 2. Add a camera. And also add an empty. Now press Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view and select the camera 
and press G Z Z to move, move it on the local Z axis. Let's position it around here. Go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad and press G X with the empty selected and hold control to snap it to the grid. And let's position it around here. Go back into camera view, go up here and enable depth of field. Select the camera and go to the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. I'm going to set the f-stop to 0.5 and the blades to 16. Go into rendered view. In the render properties, enable denoise and use optics if you can. You can only do that if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Now go to color management and set the look to very high contrast. I'm also going to add a point light and let's bring the radius up and set the power to 100. I'm going to make it yellow or something orange for example, like this. Let's save again, go to compositing and enable use nodes, add a denoise node and enable denoising data to get these outputs and set this for accurate. Go to the output properties and select an output folder once you've done that, set it to JPEG. You can of course use PNG, but I prefer JPEG. And set the quality to 100%. Now save again and go to Render, Render Animation. Now that it's done rendering, close this window and go back to Geometry Nodes. Let's set the resolution to 32 again. I'm doing this because I already tried compiling the rendered images into a video, but Blender didn't like it and I assume it's because of this. Now go up here to the plus sign and go to video editing. Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Make sure you're on frame 1. Change the file format to FFmpeg video and under encoding set the container to MPEG4. Now go to the output quality and set it to high quality. Hit Shift A and click on image sequence. Paste in the location minus the name. Now press A and enter. Let's save again and go to render, render animation. So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you're interested, you can get the file on Gumroad for a dollar through the link in the description. And I'll see you next time.